What is up my dudes? Cheap bastard talking to ya. Today I am going to review one of the cheapest ways to upgrade your LGA1366 motherboard's processor and get 6 cores and 12 threads. Specs of this CPU are right here, and they do look pretty decent, especially when CPU can be bought for a small amount of just a million dollars on AliExpress, and it performs best when used with MSI Butter or EVGA Jam. My test system specs also shouldn't be forgotten. Okay, let's begin today's testing with Doom. On Ultra Settings 1080p, my results were very nice. Metro Exodus was next, and the benchmark results on Ultra Settings 1080p were carefully calculated by my man Beetlejuice. What number comes between 2 and 4, Beetlejuice? 25. Wait a minute. He came up with these numbers, which are heavily bottlenecked by the RX 580. Springtime was cool and all on Red Dead Redemption 2 until I quickscoped this bird. Then shit got real cause they had to run away from PETA. Anyways, got these benchmark results on 1080p balance settings. In order to show you guys that I'm nature friendly, I tested some Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville on 1080p Ultra settings and wiped some zombies out to make that world a better place to live in. But who got real again with Shadow of the Tomb Raider? Despite this chaotic mess taking place here, I got these benchmark results on 1080p high settings. Just cause 3 went well. Okay, to be honest, I was surprised by the smoothness of the gameplay and got these benchmark results on 1080p high settings. Counter-Strike Global Offensive went super bad for me. But not bad for this PC. I got pretty decent FPS figures as you can see here on the screen. 1080p resolution and low settings were used. Rocket League was next and this Back to the Future mobile scored 2 goals while this Back to the Past processor scored 173.7 FPS on average while running the game on 1080p highest quality settings. Okay guys what is up and welcome back to the top 10 craziest stunts ever performed on GTA 5 and on number 1 spot we got Cheap Bastard and his insane ramp lift off. Anyways, the benchmark results were pretty good. Take a look at these numbers on 1080p Ultra. On Rainbow Six Siege I used this computer to run this computer. But the FPS numbers from the benchmark test were significant significantly lower than I initially expected, but they were enough to run the game smoothly on 1080p Ultra settings. And finally, Team Fortress 2. While playing this game on Ultra settings 1080p, my benchmark results were acceptable, but I usually get around 90 FPS with processors who have better single core performance. Nevertheless, the gameplay was very smooth. So, there you have it. On new games it runs like a champ and on older games it is okay. Personally, I think that overclocking would vanish all the drawbacks that this processor has. To end this video, please hear out a few words from our supreme leader.